would say that worked pretty well. Which is why we're using our high-speed cameras to capture the full impact of what happens when you make a safety device an unsafety device, the airbag. Airbags do save lives, but they can also pack quite a wallop. Just ask these headbangers. Airbags inflate at 20 to 30 milliseconds. That's faster than the blink of an eye. And incorporate a pyrotechnic gas producing charge. That's a lot of power packed in your steering wheel. Once the charge goes off, it's almost like a miniature rocket booster. So, it is important that you use them properly. Which is why your visor has that little warning thingy that's impossible to get off about putting kids in the front seat. There's a safety regulation that says you should never put a child seat in the front seat because if an airbag goes off, it can be disastrous for the child. And we're gonna set one off and see the damage it does. Well, we got the airbag mounted underneath here, so it's as though this is a backward-facing child seat in the passenger seat of a car, which you should never Worst do. idea ever. Right. We got some water balloons loaded in there. That's gonna show us the G-force that would be applied to an occupant of this seat if it was being hit by the airbag. And we also don't have seat belts, so it's not gonna stay where it is. That's right. There was gonna need ear protection, eye protection. You gotta be back, safe distance. All set? All set. Fired away. Firing in three, two, one. No one is suggesting that you really use a child seat this way, but this is what can happen if you do ignore the warnings. The baby is intact in a weird way, but uh, outside of the car. There's, you know, probably that, the arm balloon. Yep. Just shattering. The car seat moves forward. Yep. Baby disappears into the car seat, gets compressed there. That's a, a huge amount of damage that would be happening internally. Round two. Airbag versus skateboard. We're gonna really test the miracle of spring forces here. My money's on the miracle of airbag, airbag forces. Absolutely. Looks awesome. Let's get out of here. Okay, ready in. Three, two, one. Holy crap. Check out the damage at 1,400 frames per second. What's amazing in this one is you can see the mounting screw just puncture straight through the side of the skateboard. This is just bang. Huge acceleration. Right when it pops out, it scraped a rip in there, and then the other one forms at the bottom as well. But enough of this child's play. Let's see what happens when we pack four of these pocket tornadoes inside a wooden crate. Close her up. Why? Because we can. Three, two, one. Wow, where are all four airbags? You know, that, that was a pretty sturdy crate. This doesn't look like it on that video. You see the top, as you'd expect, pop pretty much straight up, and everything wants to go out in the direction it's facing. And now it's time for the main event. We've seen what four airbags do to a wooden box. How about eight bags inside a car. This should give us quite a show. We've also placed them in various strategic places around the car to try and see how much damage we can do to the car from the inside with the airbags. Take a look at what we've done. We've got two passenger side airbags here on the dashboard on both sides of the car. We've got one 
on the window and one on the door. We're going to try and bust the window and open the doors at the same time. Now for airbags run amok. All right, I'm going to duck a little on this one. Three, two, Under one. Under the monitor. Oh, oh, my God. I always forget to trigger when that happens. Is that bad? <laughs> yeah. And at 1,000 frames per second, you can really see the damage. Of course, no one would ever do this for real, but uh, we would. Whoa. This thing with the pressure must be like inside the car to bust that glass Blow out and pull everything out. out. It's really a good thing that these airbags are screwed into the car when you use them because just they're just propelling themselves outside of this car 20, 30 feet. Wow, look at that That's front bag. Unreal. It's like coming out of water. It looks like alien. I wish every day could be blow up with airbag, airbag day. <laughs> well, boys, today's your lucky day. Because later, we'll use airbags to blow out the candles of a giant birthday cake. It's golden sponge cake. Yeah. A birthday cake with a creamy airbag filling. This is the most scientific thing I've seen all day. Detwinkification, unfrostalization. Come on, let's go blow up the cake. Jeff offers this simple explanation. Well, we've got a concomitant mixture of amorphous solids, liquids, gases, and we may achieve some plasma state. And I, what I'd like to see is the triangulation of our three camera angles. We might see supersonic flow here. We're going to see parabolic flow, definitely. That's a given with any of these constituent matters. And I think if our calculations are proper, we're going to achieve a state that people have not seen before, the batter up state. In other words, he just wants to blow this thing up real good. Ready? Make a wish. Here you have something that's totally amorphous. So any way that you push it, it should be able to go out. And it's ex almost exactly what you see is this spherical distribution where in every direction the energy is pushing out. Unreal. You know, a lot of people think that this is how the universe started. We've got a safety device here in this airbag. We've got undamaged sponge cake traveling everywhere. Imagine some kind of airbag sponge cake hybrid. How many lives we could save? And feed them at every accident. Yeah. <laughs>